Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So today we are going to review the FASA Asteroids 2.2 mod. So what you're seeing on your screen right now are a couple of the pictures from this mod. So as you can see there is quite a bit of potential from this mod. So this mod is mostly, is all about asteroids. So these asteroids uh, come in all different sizes. Uh, I'll actually just list a couple of them. Uh, right now you, you actually have 100 meter sized asteroids, 20 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, very huge asteroids and uh, some of these asteroids actually look like miniature sized moons because they are perfectly rounded but of course asteroids aren't always perfectly rounded from what I understand. So back to KSP on looking on the screen, uh, in fact you can actually build things on this mod as you on these asteroids as you can see in the picture. So in the picture I showed a picture of a base that was already built. I actually got these pictures from the KSP forums, uh, whoever created that, thank you very much. Uh, quite a very interesting thing. You can even, um, so as you can see here, if you go to the science tab, this is where the, all the asteroids and all the parts to this mod are located. Um, you have the, as I mentioned, the different sizes, you've got 100 meter asteroid, 220, and it's a weird thing, uh, once you go over the largest asteroid, it sort of zooms out, which is really weird as to how that happens, it is, this is a 600 meter, it just zooms out, um, I don't know why that happens, but uh, it's still pretty cool, and to fix that, it just change tabs and then go back in, and there you go, but after you hover over, it'll just, it quickly, it starts to enlarge, so yeah, it's trying to take over the screen, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, it's like, no, yeah, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty crazy, and, and at the very least, you can see the detail, like, once it zooms in, you can get an idea of how it looks close up, so that's very good. So, um, so this is, uh, I believe this is a 20 meter size asteroid, so I'll go ahead and put that there. In fact, you can actually combine the asteroids together, so as you can see, two asteroids there. Um, it's virtually impossible to get these asteroids into space using stock parts. I don't think it's possible. I mean, you'd have to spend a lot of time and you'd have many troubles trying to get this into space. So, highly recommended you use space, you use mods to get this thing into space. Now for me, I'm using cheats, HyperEdit. HyperEdit, uh, if you don't already know, allows you to essentially teleport uh, whatever ship or part you have anywhere you want. So there you go. So essentially we'll be able to teleport this somewhere else. And HyperEdit is an external mod. It's not part of this Asteroids mod. So you have to download it somewhere else. And I'll include the download link for both these mods in the description. So if we have a look here, there is an Asteroid SAS mini computer. Uh, as it says, they're attached to asteroids to keep them still, so this is important. Uh, obviously, a, a huge asteroid like this would be pretty damn difficult to control, uh, trying to use like the stabilizer, because the reaction wheels and everything else would not work. Uh, it's just way too low, and at, at this with this, it would work. It doesn't actually specify uh, the reaction wheels, how good they are, but uh, yeah, and the mass and drag is really low if you actually compare it it yeah it's very very low I guess that needs fixing and this one has a drag of 0.1 I don't see the purpose of that but anyway I uh, even look at look at that crash tolerance for all of these things 100 meters per second tr crash tolerance 200 meters per second 2000 meters per second that's a good one and I uh, got 200 uh, 55,000 meters per second no, that's a mat no that's a mass yeah yeah crash tolerance is well what is that how many zeros is that uh, 100,000 meters per second, yes, uh, my bad. But anyway, you get a point, and it is a good, nice one. 50 meter ice asteroid, look at that, ice, made of ice. So once you place it down, these are real big ones, you actually have to zoom out, and uh, trying to zoom up as well while you're at it. Uh, we can actually barely see it. I'm gonna try and move this thing down, so you guys can get a proper view. Uh, we haven't actually placed it down as well, so I guess that's, that's a bit of an issue, but yeah, you can kind of get a glimpse of how it looks. Uh, I would actually have to launch so you guys can get a full scale view of how this thing looks. Again, this is not the biggest asteroid. In fact, you'd be surprised how big this thing is. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. I love that. Oh, that's not good. Okay, projectile. <laughs> that wasn't intended and that's not cheats. It's just weird stuff happening. <laughs> wow, okay, that's fun. What's this? What part is this? Okay, that's just a normal part. Uh, that's Okay, there we go. So as you can see, uh, ice asteroid, yeah. As I said, it's more like a moon, like a miniature-sized moon. 
really fun and it's rolling as well see if you actually had the SAS it wouldn't roll but I guess it would be an issue because if you have the SAS on the outside while rolling on the ground it would kind of there's a chance it might smash on the ground uh, wait I think let's go let's go back and check it out actually let's see its impact tolerance do 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 because that has to be high uh, crash tolerance 10 meters per second no okay this is what you want the asteroid stabilizer Attached asteroid to command it. Yeah, you'd want to use this. Uh, yeah, so use asteroid stabilizer instead of the uh, SAS mini computer, unless you're not going to have the the moon or asteroid. <laughs> I should just call it asteroid rolling on the ground. Then you should be fine with using that. So there you go. Uh, so if I actually go to the VAB, uh, you would actually find a different asteroid that has already like a base already built on it per se. So let's go ahead and check that out. So this is called the asteroid base delta. Now you may think, Heretic, did you build all these things? No. Uh, in fact, when you go to the KSP Spaceport website and download the mod, it actually comes with a save file of things already pre-built. So this is someone else's profile that I'm using that was included in the download link. So yeah, it's, it's free to use. In fact, I'll show you some more things about this. And this is pretty damn cool. Just take a look at this, all this detail. Now, as I mentioned, you can place paths. So if I want to place fuel tank, blah, 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 I can do that. And here's another thing that I haven't mentioned. If you right click and look at the details, liquid fuel, motor propellant, oxidizer, xeon gas, this, all these actually have fuel. Look at that. They all have fuel in them and you can even have uh, command pod. Look at that. Crew capacity three. So that's interesting as well. But yeah, look at that. Fuel. And what I've seen on the Spaceport website, it actually specified, um, or it mentions a couple challenges. So if I find which challenge, um, build a base on one of the main belt asteroids. I'll share what that is later on. Uh, point awards, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's just, yeah, go to the Spaceport website. You'll see a couple challenges. Uh, there's just three challenges there. So that's that's quite fun to muck around with. But yeah, and look at this guys. This is this is weird. Like this is all RCS and uh, I guess you can have you need the, the ports. So the docking ports there so you can you can dock your ship and then in fact essentially mine, quote unquote, mine uh, this moon or asteroid because it has liquid fuel in it. Technically it's not really mining because you're not really refining the material you don't need to refine it it's already refined <laughs> it's already there you just got to collect that or you just got to transfer the fuel technically um but yeah this has caught up mining for just for the fun of it right um which is a good challenge so if you guys want to go ahead and try this mod, I definitely recommend it and check this out i really like this design look at this you got generators with a battery sparked around them. And this looks like a power station, like a professional power station. Look at that, look at very well made. Look at that. <laughs> I really like the way that looks. Cool, yeah. And you know, on this, you, you can always sort of build like your own thing. So say you wanna build like a, I don't know, a, a satellite disc or something like that. I'd use a structural panel and uh, you know, like that. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just guessing here of how, to, how would I build this. So yeah, you can build all sorts of stuff. And I, out of curiosity, what is this? Why are these here? What do these do? Like they're not there to burn fuel. They're there for some other purpose, just for looks, I guess. But I don't know what they do. Um, here's a funny thing. I launched this last time when I was testing out this mod. And I don't know if it's going to happen again. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it, ha it happened again. Everything just slides off, breaks off. Well, at least some things do. I guess it's because this whole thing is sort of moving. Ooh, that's a bad smash. <laughs> no, no, that's not good. Well, there goes the base, pre-built base. Uh, yeah, I guess, I don't know, you might have to use cheats to prevent that from smashing. Um, but at least the, the satellite disk is no longer on. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I thought it was going to stay on. No. Well, the docking port stays on. Good enough, right? All the remnants of everything else. But anyway, so... <laughs> this, that, why is it shaking? Look at that. Ah, oh, I hate that. 
that's crazy. Anyway, um, I do have the HyperEdit mod as I mentioned. So if you haven't used this already, this is like a quick tutorial. Um, you click Orbit Editor. Uh, you don't have to select Orbit to edit because we've this thing's already selected as the active part to edit. I want to select the body. So I want to go, uh, where shall we go? Let's go to, let's go to Jewel, shall we? No, I haven't been in Jewel for quite a while. Uh, 500, I'm going to type this in. Do 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 500, 1, 2, 3. I hope this is correct. I'm just guessing the numbers here. It's pretty much a guesstimate. Um, but yeah, so here we go. And are we in the atmosphere? No, we're not. We're still pretty, pretty far away. But here's Jewel. This is how the hybrid works. We've just teleported this whole asteroid. Look at that. Cool, right? That's amazing. That's a, I'm going to take a screenshot. Bang. <laughs> anyway, guys, so um, if I zoom out, Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Check this out. So as I mentioned just for a quick second, something about an asteroid belt. In fact, this is a really pre-built asteroid belt. Um, I'll show that. It's just the asteroids that we've seen um, from the VAB and SBH just placed there already. So I don't know if you want to make around with that, you can. Uh, even Kerbin has a few asteroids around it. So if you click there, you see a couple of asteroids going past. One's slingshotting away, one's going towards Kerbin, it's not going to crash into Kerbin. And if you're wondering, Heretic, what happens if the asteroid crashes into Kerbin? Is Kerbin going to smash into pieces? No. No, this is a game. This is That's not going to happen. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, that, would be, that would be awesome. That would be a very awesome part of this mod, but uh, no, that, that doesn't happen. That's a good screenshot. I'm not going to screenshot that again. <laughs> well, well, bang. There we go. Okay, so uh, I want to see the ranch of this thing. I want to see how this thing goes. So, do, do, do. Orbit Editor, we are currently 500,000. So, I'm going to change this to. Let's change it to a 4. Bang. That doesn't help. We're still not close enough. I'm going to change this to a 3. That's. I'm going to change this to a 2. I'm still, still pretty damn high. Oh gosh. But that's pretty damn close. If we zoom out a little bit. Why are we. Okay, my bad. We're looking at the wrong planet. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Come on. Zoom in. I just want to see where we are. Yeah, so that's close. That's definitely close. Uh, will the atmosphere pick us up here? No, I guess not. And here's a weird thing. I don't, I don't really know everything about HyperEdit, but it seems as though every time you teleport, um, it, uh, it sort of pauses you. Whoa, okay. What? Okay, yeah. It prevents you from moving for... A I like that. I like the way that looks. So guys, this is how an astral, a, actual asteroid would look in real life. No, I don't think so. In fact, an actual asteroid would, you know, the parts would break off. And that's a very short re-entry. It's a very, very short re-entry. That didn't take long. But that looks, that looked awesome for a quick second there. Let's try that again, shall we? And this is practice. Let's go to uh, another planet. We're essentially reviewing two mods today. There we go. I want to go to, where do you guys want to go? If I could think of the top of my head, you guys want to go to Lathe. Okay, let's go to Lathe. I know what you guys think. Alrighty. So, obviously not in the atmosphere. Let's take away a zero. Ah, that does it. <laughs> okay, it's interesting how we, we instantly just move. Because, here's the thing. The reason why we actually had the re-entry heat, and if you want to heretic, you know, why are we getting re-entry heat? We just teleported. We're not, we're not moving. Technically, we... We teleported, but at the same time, the mod automatically creates an orbit for you. So we were going at the speed that's required to currently orbit Lathe. But of course, we're in the atmosphere, so that uh, slowed down our, our trajectory. And, and so we're falling down now. So um, there you go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this mod review. A great mod to try out. Highly recommended. In fact, this is not the only mod uh, that actually features asteroids. There was another mod known as, I believe it was called the the Disasteroid mod. And I believe it doesn't have any more support. So when KSP team updates the game, uh, the developers of the Disasteroid mod don't actually update the mod themselves. Um, this is a rocket that you can try out to, I've seen in the video, to crash into the asteroid. Um, as well as that, in case you're interested in you know, a bit of comedic relief. I made a video one, uh, last video actually, uh, called KSP Bob and Jeb, or Jeb and Bob, I don't know which order. But, yeah, it involves the asteroid, a uh, bit of a spoiler, but definitely check it out if you want to have a quick laugh, or, yeah, just laugh your head off overall. So let's go ahead and check this stuff out. Okay. 
All right, what's here? What's here? Wait, zoom out a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. All right, there we go. Because that, that's just a lonely thing. And you know what's funny about this? Is the the pictures. Look at the asteroid. It, like, it'd be funny. It'd be more realistic if this was a picture of an asteroid. Uh, instead, it's of, what is that? Some sort of rover? No, it's not a rover. It's a base. Looks like a base to me. Um, and it even it's even more funnier if you look down down here yeah like you see probes you see like a what is that a satellite and then you have on this it's a probe and then you have the rover but it's an actual asteroid so that's pretty funny um it's just something that i laughed over it's like ah, it's not a rover it's an asteroid <laughs> yeah you get the point anyway guys again hope you enjoyed uh thank you for watching and uh see you next time bye